when teaching children social skills, um, when it's done in a one-on-one -on -one therapy session, or when it's done at home between the parents and the child, the child only has one model. But when put in a classroom setting at a nursery, instead of like only having an adult show you what you're supposed to do, you have all of your peers indirectly modeling the way that you're supposed to greet someone or return a greeting, the way that you initiate communication with someone. Um, taking turns during play or taking turns even during conversation. You ask me something, so now I answer, and then you just you learn how to make the conversation go back and forth. At home, it might be a little tricky because children actually learn these things from peers more than they do from adults. Um, children also learn how to ask for help if they need it or even offer help if they see someone who they think might need it. And of course, sharing with others. Um, in a home setting, unfortunately, it's you have to share because he's your brother or you have to share because she's your cousin. But in a nursery, you just see everyone like happily sharing materials with each other and children see that, well, everyone is benefiting this way. And this helps actually develop a sense of belonging with the child because you, you like this little community that's built in the classroom. And we see this a lot of the times during recess or during break times. Um, even if it's like a small classroom of five or six or a bigger classroom of 20, if someone has a football, it's automatically class A against class B. You automatically feel like you're part of a team. And this is one of the great things that we see from nurseries and schools.